underestimated for how cool we all are. <laughs> all my favorite people and the wonderful designers that are here today, I am in love with. I'm so excited. Stuart has been dressing me since I like was like a baby teen girl like entering this very scary world. So it's really cool to be here with him. <laughs> To be here is pretty amazing, um, and you know I have so much respect for the Daily Print Rose, so it means a lot. Hello, everybody! Welcome to the fourth annual Fashion Los Angeles Awards. If I look familiar, it's because you've probably seen me at a party asking a famous person for a selfie. That's definitely which reminds me. There we go. Um, now, now you get it. I look familiar. Now I do feel like it is my responsibility to let you all know and announce that Jamie is pregnant with a baby boy. And it's mine. We are having a lesbian baby. Uh, she is bringing new life to the world through her brand and that body. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Considering the fact I grew up stalking Nicole, and begging my mom to buy me Juicy Couture. This is a dream come true. You are somebody who me and my girls have, we've been so lucky to have this amazing glam squad for the last 10 years. And you're like one of my daughters. You're truly, we feel so blessed to have you on a team where we trust each other and travel the world together. And that's really rare. I just wanna thank you, Chris, so much for teaching women the importance of setting goals being fearless, focused, humble, and you really do show what work ethic really is like, and I can't look at you all cry. I don't want the crying face. They're all naked, they're all <laughs> naked. I feel like I'm naked. But you're, <laughs> Jeremy Scott is really naked and getting me through this Just speech. look at Jeremy okay. Scott's look right nipple. nipple, you'll be okay. fine. Okay, 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 okay. He is aware, but he's also of good moral standing. And while we are celebrating him for his achievements in photography, we should also celebrate him for his integrity and his graciousness. And I truly believe that we all need to be vocal and stand up for the issues we care about most in this world, for ourselves, for our children, and for our industry. I love what I do, and I want to continue working alongside the best in a diverse, respectful, and sustainable workplace. So thank you very much for listening to me, and thank you for this award. So please welcome to the stage the stylist of the year, um, the recipient of the Women's Stylist of the Year, Kate Young. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Daily Front Row. Thank you, Brandusa. Um, thanks, Derek. I just want to say this. Good, good ethics and a kind heart are everything and anything anybody should aim to have. You are my family. And um, you inspire me to be better and always protect me. And you do the same with all of those you love. A wise person once said, my mom wants me to say it was her, but it wasn't. Um, <laughs> nothing in life that is worth it comes easy. So thank you for those in this room and everywhere who have been told no and kept going because that is my inspiration. I think I can speak for young women when, it's, when I say that is all of our inspiration. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Derek. And thank you, everyone else. I'm thrilled to be here tonight to celebrate one of fashion's most independent spirits, Philip Klein. I am here to announce the award for designer of the year to my dear friend, Stuart Bevers. And for me, diversity is modernity in terms of race, gender, and identity. At Coach, I want to be completely inclusive to everyone because I think that's what America at its best does. Emily has become so much more than just a model. She has become a powerful icon for her generation. Redefining what it means to be sexy, what it means to be beautiful, what it means to live your life on your own terms. Beauty as defined by the fashion industry is no longer just one ideal. It's a multitude of shapes and colors and sizes. And most amazingly, beauty is now about what makes you different and about what you stand for. Um, I am absolutely humbled to introduce you all to Creative of the Year recipient. He's a real badass. 
a rebel, which is very important, and an original. And not to mention the homie, okay? Like, Jeremy, I'm sorry, I, I know that wasn't approved, but it's kind of my signature move. Someone that is outside of the box, sometimes I feel a little bit um, outside of the box, and you guys always make me feel at home and feel loved and cherished. And I would like to thank so many of my friends who are here, Francis and Pablo and Ross and Michelle and Angela and Brooke, um, who help prop me up sometimes when I um, can't stand on my own. So um, basically, I just want to say thank you and good night.